am Rijo. Today we are just planning to cover the topic Microsoft Intune Device Profile Configuration. In the previous video, we already discussed how to we can enroll the device using Microsoft Autopilot method. So once you enroll the device, we need to implement the policy in that device. So how to we can implement the policy in the device using device profile configuration. We will go for our learning objective today. So what is the learning objective today we are discussing introduction of device profile and type of device, device profile available and device profile assignment scope and demo for one of the device profile configuration. Let's we will go for our learning objective. So what is the device profile? Profile can create or assign to the device managed by Intune. You are already familiar with the uh, on-premises Active Directory AD. So once you create your uh, device, then uh, you need to implement a policy using GPU. Same concept here, we will use him for the Intune device prof configuration profile. We will Im implement our policies. Type of policies available, you can configure setting, feature, security op option for various platform, including uh, different platform, Windows, iOS, Mac OS and Android device. So type of device profile, what are the type available for the device profile? Template, uh, it's managing the uh, Windows devices and baseline profile. Baseline profile will be helped for the uh, Windows device management Microsoft Intune for the uh, security purpose, security settings, pre-configured security settings and setting catalog. Uh, setting catalogs have all the available setting and in one location. you. So next we will uh, discuss for the scope of assigned behavior. There are two type of uh, uh, scope available. One for the uh, user scoped policy. It will be registered with our registry current user. And another one device scoped policies. Uh, this will be affected for our uh, registry local mission. Okay. Now we check for the scope cases. When the, the scope assigned for the user, okay, then user policy. Example, if the user scope policy assigned to the device. If the, the, the scope is only for the policy for the user, but if you apply for in the device, what happened? All the user on that device have setting will be applied. All the user in that device, because you apply the user policies to the devices, whatever the user will be using that device, it will be affected, okay? Then if user scope policy is assigned to the user, example, you will apply for your user scope only for the particular user, only that user has setting is applied only that user what who is the user you apply that user only affect that scope next we will check for the scope case in the devices if if you find define scope to the assigned to the uh, policy assigned to the device all user on that device have the setting applied that device only for that scope will be applied okay if you use the device scope policy assigned to the user level, device scope setting is applied to the all the user on device. One, you will apply for the device scope in the user. Whatever the user will be using that device, they will get all the configuration. And what is a scope assignment behavior? There are two types, user scope and device scope. We will discuss for our lab scenario. Uh, we will disable the device control panel in one of the user account we will go for the our uh, intune portal so how to we can implement the device profile okay we reach our intune portal you see windows devices two devices already available see here is the device we apply for the scope for this device so this device belongs to patty f at rejoskill.com so now we will uh, just remotely connect for the this devices so now we reach the devices then you can get here you can click the settings you can control your settings and you just go for the control panel so now I can access the user party party can the user party can access for the control panel and the setting configuration so what i will do the user party how i will disable the access for the settings and control panel so how to we can assign that in the device profile so just we will uh, go for now our intune portal again so what we will do we will implement the device profile so how to we can get the device profile 
you just click device here after that you need to select your platform you can windows ios mac os currently i just go for select for the windows platform then after that you can see here manage the device configuration profile complaint profile and also if you need to security baseline profile you can go for the endpoint security here you can see the security baseline profile also you can implement so currently i just go for the our uh, configuration profile just to click the configuration profile so after configuration here you can see the policy and then after that you can create the new policy and also you have option for the import the policy import the policy means you have already policy you can download in the json file format then you can implement in the import in the policy so currently i just go for the create a new policy then click new policy here you have option windows 10 and later windows 8.1 later currently my pc is windows 10 i just go for the windows 10 and later then here you can see the profile type setting catalog template so template means uh, you have the all the template name administration bios custom delivery optimization more is available you can choose whatever you need so currently i just go for the setting catalog then after that click the create the setting catalog so here you need to implement your name of the creating profile currently i just plan to disabling the control panel for the all the user so i just clearly mentioned that name in the our creating profile very important you just when you implement it you just clearly mention your name because you can easily understand so i just mention here control panel disable all into user so description also i will copy this one then created by richard okay then if you need email you can give the email also now you can easily understand control panel disable for all the into user then after that next here you can see the configuration setting you need to choose your configuration setting click add settings then here you have how the more setting is available you can select which setting you want otherwise you can type here bit locker like this one bit locker then you can search here all the settings will be related to the bit locker sorry bit locker see all the administration templates related to the bit locker will become otherwise we just go for the filter add filter you can select whatever the scope you need to create you can create it previously you can choose i just go for the os edition then operator equal to uh, my currently os is windows 10 pro i choose windows 10 pro so here you can see holo iot device windows education window enterprise home multi-section professional so just i will go for window profession then now i apply so now all the windows 10 pro related policy will be coming here so just waiting for the loading so now you can see browse by category you can see administrative template you go to scroll down 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 you can see see google chrome all the different different uh, the policy is available you can choose whatever the policy you need so i just go for here control panel so here you can see administrator control panel admin control add or remove program only administrative uh, control panel display personalize all the all the related to the control panel will be just coming i just choose control panel so here you have the different option uh, always open all control pan item when opening control pan user hide the specific control pan to the prohibited to access to the control panel and pc setting to the user so i need this one such that if you need and you just click and add it is automatically coming in your configuration settings then prohibited access control panel i choose then after that i will close so here you can see your control panel settings automatically come here if you need to enable you just enable if now the current current status is disabled once you enable only the policy will be implemented just all i just enable if you know the uh, control panel we enable the uh, prohibited access control panel and pc setting in the user so here you can see the user the the scope level you can assume the user level so we already discussed two type of scope level available one for device level one to user level for this policy we have available for the user scope level so just we needed to 
apply for in the user level then i will click scop tag i will skip then next i will go for the assignment so now i need to assign for the i can assign for the group level i can assign for the add all the user level so add all the device i will notice because this policy particular for the scop user level so i just go for the add all user or add group i just add the group previously i create the group so here you can click the group in don't user so just select that group so one user is also available then after that you need to click next then you need to create so now we implement our profile what is control panel disable for the all the indoor user so after that just to refresh so your policy is created or created already so you can see here your policy is created so once you create the policy you just click the policy you can get the status so here currently the policy is implemented it take little bit time to import in the device so you can see here succeed error all the display will be coming here you can click the view report also you can see the report also here per setting status view the configuration status of each settings for this policy across all the device you can see the setting for the across all the device just click here currently it's take a little bit time because uh, maximum 20 minutes needed to update just click the refresh still not available so here also you can go for here policy is going currently not not activated it's for here go to your device then windows then we will just this is the user just click the device then you just synchronize your device synchronize as initiated wait for the policy will be implemented We'll check again the policy is applied or no just to go for click so you can see here your one of the policy is applied successfully you can click here you can see the report also the report you can see device name uh, the same logged user party and check the stat in status successfully you can see here the policy is applied so we need to confirm the policy is applied or no we just go for our device now remotely So this device previously we opened, we just go for click. You can see the user party friend and us. We will try to click settings. See the user cannot access the setting also. Then after that we will check the control panel. We can click the control panel. This operation has been cancelled due to the restriction effort of the computer. Please contact your administrator. Now you can see that your policy is implemented through the microsoft intune portal so just i will go for again the portal so here you can see all the report and everything you can find it just close it here please status also see prohibited access you can see here setting name prohibited access control success device one error device zero so here you can see the device report also control pan disable all intune user so now you understand how to we can implement the policy device profile and policy in the through the microsoft intune so next we will uh, just discuss about how to we can import the policy you can go for here you can click here then you can export the json policy from here just click export then it's downloaded then after that you just go for the folder you can see this is the control panel disabled all into news this policy is out so you can copy this policy then in the future you can also implement it in the post how to we can use this one just just go for again the portal so here once you create the policy just click the creation you can see here import the policy so what's the policy available you just go for the download previously we download the policy then just open it so now you can see then you can give the new name or whatever you need to just apply it then you can just click save see you can see here also view the policy see the policy is there 
already because this policy is conflict coming just a refresh see the same policy we will approve one assigned currently we don't want because we just deleted because the policy will be conflict coming so just to refresh it so now i just uh, wind up my topic now you understand how to we can implement the device uh, configuration profile through microsoft into our enrolled device so now i wind up my topic if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much